me when she was 21, um, and I was full term. I, um, she was on a cantaloupe diet her entire pregnancy with me. Um, she gained 11 pounds her entire pregnancy, and I was full term and five and a half pounds. And, uh, and I know my mother was knocked out. She didn't remember it. This was in 1968, um, which I think is fairly typical back then. And um, and she didn't know to be to know what she was missing. I mean, she had no idea. I guess that's what how it was done. You know, Capalami, um, probably. I'm sure. I'm sure it was Capalami. But but also my mom was not supportive of me having a home birth. So um, and that was one of the things. You know, it's like you, it's such an uphill battle to, to get a home birth today in this country, and particularly from people close to you. You know, giving you you know mm -hmm. oh your your baby's gonna die or why would you put yourself at risk and your baby at risk. You know. So my mom was one of those naysayers. And, um, and I think she's come around. I, mean, I, you know, I know she has. I, mean, I don't think she'd be telling everybody to have water births at home. But <laughs> um, I think my mom is very moved by you know, the impact that the film has had. People come up to her and say, you know, I had a great birth experience because of your daughter. So, you know, so I think she's come to, to, to think that um, it was the right choice for me and that the work I'm doing is worthwhile.